bunnies welcome back it's me Jenny thank you for stopping by um, I am super excited for this video I'm going to show you guys another um, easy tutorial for the Halloween series we're going to be creating these really fun and like I, I guess creepy but fun embellishments using um, these rat die cuts that I have now I have a whole bunch of these because I had purchased these rat die cuts at Michael's I think like maybe two years ago and I still have like a lot of them left over so I wanted to make use out of the stuff that I have and so I'm gonna show you how to create these really fun rat embellishments now um, if you don't have rats, you can use pumpkins, you can use spiders, you can use whatever you have. If you really, really want to use a rat image, um, what you can do is you can Google rat shape. And then um, once you find a shape that you like, you can print it out and then you can basically um, fuzzy cut it on a black paper or black glitter paper. And that's it, okay? Don't go crazy, don't, don't go like nuts. To try to find something that it's really probably gonna be hard to find you can basically make this on your own okay you can even use stickers if you want all right so we're not gonna really do much to be honest with you this project is going to be like super super quick because all we're doing is just layering that's all we're doing we're not doing anything else except just layering okay so my what I have here is a whole bunch of assortment of different doilies that I love to um, buy at Michael's I'm going to use um, four different kinds of doilies and we're just going to basically layer them down, okay? So that's what you do. Just take out your doilies and basically just go doily crazy. Okay, so let's layer our doilies. I have here the doilies that I already picked out. I picked out this beautiful canvas doily that you guys know I'm obsessed over, which you probably can't even see because it's too light. Then I have this black and um, orange one that I got from Michaels, as well as this one. I think this is from last year. Um, Michaels was selling this uh, collection last year. And then I have these magnificent, like, I love these. These are like um, spider webs. I am so much in love with these um, doilies. I try not to use them because they're just so beautiful. I didn't get too many of them last year. I only have a few left. I'm so sad, but I know, I know. You have to use your stuff, right? Of course. Okay, let me bring you closer to me so you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm going to actually have glue my doilies together, okay? Very simple, very simple. Here we go. I'm gonna add, find out what, first order, the order of doilies that you want, just basically, you know, add the order of doilies that you want and have them ready for you to use. That's basically it. I decided to use this black and orange at the bottom just because I kind of like that look. And then I'm going to layer that with this one on top. This nice orangey one. And then we're going to layer that on top with this beautiful um, like spider web um, doily. And you're basically going to get a nice little layer of doily, just like that. See that? How pretty the canvas, the black, the, um, the other one, and then this one. Okay? Really pretty layer. Okay, beautiful. Now, let's work with the rat. What I want to do with my rat is... I want to give it a nice little look to him. He's very creepy looking and I'm trying to make him as cute as possible, <laughs> which is very hard to do because he's actually a rat, right? But I'm gonna try my best and I wanted to do some little, like, cute things to it. So I'm going to use this doily that I got at Michael's last year. And I'm going to actually add this little, um, not doily, I'm sorry. This is not a doily, this is a cupcake. A cupcake liner that I got from Michael last year. And I'm going to basically just fold my cupcake liner. It's a mini one. And I'm going to make it a very small size so I can put it right by the rat's 
um, I guess neck area and it kind of looks like he has like a nice little collar okay so I'm gonna make this as small as possible because I don't want this to cover my rat shape of circle just like that see my purpose is to make it like look like this so that it doesn't cover the rat but it's big enough and visual enough that you can see it once you get the shape the shape of your little embellishment make sure that it's the size that you want which it is now what I have here in front of me is these really fantastic beautiful um, brats that I bought at uh, Tuesday morning a few days ago. I came across these and I was super excited I was actually looking for paper Halloween paper, which I did not find But I did come across these gorgeous brats. So I'm going to use them in this project And so what I'm gonna do is I picked out which one I want so already so I picked out this one Which is like a nice little spider looking one. I'm gonna put it in the center of my cupcake aligner Okay because this is going to be the center of the um it's going to be put in the center right by the collar of the rat okay so what you're going to do is this little embellishment is going to go right over here and it's going to kind of give the rat a nice cute look to it right so yeah that's right babies so you should get something like this. It's really, really fun looking embellishment. We're going to hot glue it to the rat. Before we hot glue it to the rat, I added some ribbon in the back of the embellishment just to make it look really, you know, pretty looking. So I picked out this one from Michaels. I got this last year and I'm using this one with the little polka dot. I just basically cut out two little pieces, not too big, just, you know, enough that, um, it will peek through my little embellishment that I just created there okay I'm going to basically just hot glue these together just like that and then I'm going to add this to the back of the embellishment that we just created and it's going to basically be in a little angle just like that so I'm going to hot glue it once you find the area where you want it to look where you want it to you know be like I want mine to be mm, something like wait no I want it to come down more more like on this side see just like that so hot glue this to the back there you go and you're gonna get yourself a nice little embellishment that looks like that now, what we're going to do with this embellishment is we're going to hot glue it to our little rat right here, okay? So add some hot glue to the rat, or actually to your embellishment, and you're going to add this to the rat. Just like that. And that's why I said make your embellishment small, because you don't want to cover your, your rat, obviously, right? There you go. Beautiful. And the last thing we're going to do, this is such a simple project, guys. It's so easy. But you'll see why we need to create these for the next video that we're going to create, okay? So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add my beautiful, gorgeous little wrap in front of my doily. Now, I want to use some dimensions on the back of this because I want to lift it up a little. So do that. I'm going to add some dimensions in the back of the wrap just so they can kind of give me a nice lift. And then I'm going to add my hot glue and I'm going to adhere the rat to the doily. Okay. And I want my rat to be facing this way, just like the rest of the other ones. 
just hold on hold on to that for a few seconds until it kind of adheres and dries and there you have it and there you have it that is how you create this beautiful embellishment you see how i mean literally in no time right so simple but it looks so beautiful i love it and then you have this beautiful gorgeous wrap now um you can add googly eyes if you want to your rack i'm not doing that because i did that last year and i want to do something different but you could add some googly eyes to the rack if you want you can also add some of those um what do you call here let me show you really quickly these kind i forgot what these are called but this like furry looking um uh yarn you can actually add it around your rat and that also will give it some nice volume i mean you can really kind of work around the style that you want your rat to look um but i think i love mines like this um it's simple it's beautiful i love it i love these brass oh my god these brass are like so lovely on these rats you see how beautiful it looks it's such a pretty, pretty, pretty look. I love it. And I think this is going to be perfect for my banner. So I'm going to be working on my banner. I'm not sure if it's going to be the next video. It might not be. I think I'm going to do another embellishment and then we'll work on the banner. Okay, honeys? So stay tuned for that. Thumbs up. Um, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like. And um, I will see you guys on my next video. I love you all. Have a fantastic weekend. Please be safe out there, honey bunnies. Bye.